Hi, my name's Paul, and today I want to talk about MLAPI and specifically the network transform object. So I've got this little version of Exuvius here, and I've got a scrolling background. So when I run, sort of it to start. So you can see here, this is the scrolling background, the green tree tops here coming down, and then you can see the grass. And what's happening here is it's, this scrolling background is being transformed, so its Y coordinate is changing. So now it's got a network object on it, and now it's got a network transform object. So this means that the network object is going to say to the MLAPI server, okay, we need to replicate this between players. And the network transform is going to see is going to say we need to synchronize the position. So if I build this now, I've got a little test batch file here that runs two instances. So there we are as our player. And now I start player one, which is the server, and I start player two. Fine. Now you can see that it's scrolling, but it's pretty kind of jerking, pretty jittery movement along here. And that's really going to give people a headache. So I don't want that. So what's causing that? Well, the first thing to say is that maybe synchronizing isn't the right thing to do, but I'll just push on with this example. So we've got a few things here that we can play with. And I think the relevant thing here is the minimum meters. This is set to be too low, um, or rather too high. So this is only going to send a synchronization every time we move 0.15 meters. And that scrolling background is, is making very small changes. So I'm gonna just um, whack that up to be very tiny so it's really not going to be any kind of gate we're always going to send a sync so let's just save that and build okay and then run two versions start the server off start the client off and you can see now that it's much smoother. And it's still not as good as the host, as the server, but it's, it's pretty close. Probably wouldn't feel too sick playing this version. And obviously the player is still synced up. So I'm moving player one here and player two is showing both the scrolling background and player one's movement. Of course, I could come here and do the same in reverse. So the server is seeing the client's movement. An alternative to doing the network transform is to have both the client and the server understand that they're scrolling independently, but have the server have a way of prompting the client to resync at particular points. So this doesn't use any of the MLAPI um, automatic syncing services. This means writing your own component. So in my background manager, I've now added the network component and in its script, let's have a look at the background manager script. So it itself is a network behavior now rather than just a mono behavior. And this is its update method. So when it's scrolling, it just simply translates the area down by its speed. However, there's this new MLAPI client RPC attribute to call called sync server to position. And all this is going to do is the server at regular intervals is going to say, you know what, this is my position. Just make sure you're at the same position as me. So at a, at a kind of regular basis, we're going to do that. 
and that regular basis is set by this sync delay. So every five seconds, we're just going to make sure that we're roughly the same or exactly at the same place. So how are we doing that? So at the reference to that, we've just got a simple coroutine that's got a little wait for delay there. And it's just going to call that sync method from the server. So that's all that's going to happen. So in this case, let me do um, a build of this. So I've built that. So the idea is hopefully we don't have to rely on the constant syncing of the position. We can just kind of let the clients do their own thing and then every now and again, just sync them back up again but we're doing that manually. So if I run that now, let me share both copies. Let's just make that a bit bigger. It's roughly the same. So on the left is gonna be the server and on the right is the client. So the scrolling now is much smoother. It is none, none of that kind of jerky movement and they're at the same position. So you can't really see any difference. I think that's pretty smooth. So how can we tell that the syncing is happening? So what I'll do is I'll run one copy of Exuvius here. And then I'll run one copy inside the IDE. Let me just make that, there we go. So this is the server, so start that off, and this is the client. Okay, let's wait till we get something we can kind of see what's happening. So we're getting to this grass area here. Now I'm going to manually stop the server. So you see the client carries on because it's not aware of anything the server's doing. It's just carrying on, scrolling in, doing its scrolling thing. Now we're going to restart the server. And then whoop, it's synced back up again. So as long as the server isn't interrupted, then the clients will carry on doing their thing. And if the server does get interrupted, well, we're already going to be in trouble anyway, because that's where all of the syncing is taking place for everything else. Um, but that's, I think that's probably a better solution because we're not sending over as much network traffic. We're only sending over a little bit of a uh, little sync call every five seconds, a little RPC. We're not constantly trying to ping the transformation position of the background. So that's how I think I'll do the background. Thanks.